Hi everybody, this is Mirav, and today I'm going to teach you how to add a pop-up or pop-under to your site using a Joomla Ad Agency. So here on the left, under Add New Ads, select Pop-up. And now the, that's where it gets interesting. You have three types of pop-ups. So let's go over each one and try to see it on the front end as well. You can choose a pop-up that is a basically a website or a web page. So you just select web page. You also have the option to choose an image or an HTML. Let's start with the web page. We're going to give it a descriptive name. For example, ijoomla.com. What I want to do is I want to have a pop-up that shows the site ijoomla.com. I'm going to select an advertiser here. I'm going to keep the status as approved because I want to see it already on the site and I'm going to select a zone. Now for pop-ups, transition ad and floating you need to create a zone that you don't use for anything else. For example a zone that's in at the bottom uh, that doesn't have a title, it's just for the purpose of showing the pop-ups, transition ad and floating ads. So please create this kind of zone and publish it and assign uh, assign the banner or the, the, the pop-up to this uh, new zone. Now I only have one zone here so I'm going to select this one. If you want to show this pop-up only on pages that have specific keywords on the title meta tags, you can enter keywords here. Just make sure that the zone has keywords uh, featured enabled as well. So here's where you enter the URL of the site you actually want to display inside the pop-up. So I'm going to choose ijumla.com and I'm going to choose the frequency, how often I want to show uh, this pop-up to, to a specific visitor. Uh, I, I recommend once a week, you don't want to be too annoying to your, to your members or to your visitors, but you can select every time, once a day, once a month, once a year. Now, here we can, you can choose different properties for this pop-up. You can choose either it's a pop-up or pop-under. Pop under, which, which what it means is that it's going to show under the window. They're not even going to see it right away. Only when they close the site that they're visiting right now, they're going to see this uh, this pop up. And and pop up, which means it's going to show on the top. Now you want to select different attributes of the of the pop up window. Do you want to show the toolbar of the browser? Yes or not? Do you want to show the status bar, the menu bar? All those things you can select yes or no. By default, it's all no. That's why it looks like a pop-up and it doesn't look like a regular uh, browser page. And here you can select the width. Now we're going to show an entire website, so 300 pixels is too, it's too small. So I'm going to choose 800 by 600. Here on location, you can specify if you want to show this pop-up only on specific cities or countries or continent, etc. And there is a video that you can watch. Just click on this link to watch another video. Campaign is very important. It's only going to show this pop-up if it's inside a campaign. So select a campaign from the list here. Right now we only have one campaign for this particular advertiser. So I'm going to select 10 years a campaign and I'm going to click Save. And now you can see that this banner was added to the top of the Ads Manager and you can always access it just by going to Manager's Ads. Now let's see how it looks like on the front end. So here it is, here's our pop-up, a web page pop-up that basically shows another website. Now if you're happy with it, great. If you're not, for example, I think it's too narrow, I would like it to be you know, wider. I would like it to show the entire site, maybe like this. So I can go, I can change the, the attributes of this particular a pop-up to something else. So let's talk about other pop-ups that we have available here. Now once you've created, once you've chosen the type of pop-up, you can't change it. So we're going to have to create a new pop-up. Let's click on Add New Ads, Pop-up, and then select Image from the list. I will give it a name, for, a Joom for example, a Joomla Ad Agency. And what it means is that you're just going to show an image inside the pop-up. And we're going to link it to a Joomla.com. And let's upload the image here. 
I have it ready. The size is 300 by 300. And now it's going to show the size here. And here I can choose the frequency like before. And now I'm going to leave the size as 300 by 300 and click Save. Oops, we forgot to select the zone. It's very important. Another thing that we completely forgot to do is choose a campaign. And like I said, it's not going to work without choosing a campaign. And here it is, here's how it looks like on the front end. You can see that uh, we have a pop-up in the 300 by 300 size. Now there's one uh, thing here that you need to keep in mind that some browsers, they will block a pop-up. So you might want to use a floating edge instead of a pop-up just to make sure that it's not uh, going to block it. Let's try the last type of pop-up. We're going to click again on pop-up here and we're going to choose HTML. So basically you can enter anything you want here. Just like we did with the floating ad, you can look and see in the floating ad example. Just enter anything you want here in the HTML editor and save it and it will show whatever you entered. So you can enter text, make it uh, choose the heading or choose the font, make bullet points, enter images, whatever you want you can do right here. And this is it about how to add a pop-up to your iJoomla ad agency backend. Thanks for watching.